AI administration checkoff. Starts with verifies position order and reviews chart. Then washes hands. Required supply, MDI, spacer, and peak flow meter. Gives thorough and complete instruction as well as identify patient. Hi, Michelle. My name is Brenda and I'm from the respiratory care department. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good. Before we get started, can I please check your name band? Thank you. I'm here to give you, to teach you how to use some medications that come in the form of an inhaler. And the purpose is to help open up your lungs so that you can breathe just a little bit easier. Monitors heart rate, respiratory rate, breath sounds. Before we begin, let me just put your head up a little bit, help you take some nice deep breaths in. Repositions patient if necessary. Can I just touch you and take your pulse? Counting her respiratory rate. Can I please listen to your breath sounds? Can you just take some nice deep breaths in and out for me? Great. Again. You're doing great. Can I have you lean forward a little bit? Thank you. Measures expiratory peak flow prior to therapy. One of the things that we like to have people do is to take a deep breath in and blow into this device. It's called the peak flow meter, and it will help us tell really how large your airways are, how open your lungs. So what I'm going to have you do is just put this in your hand, take a nice deep breath in. I want you to put your mouth around that mouthpiece and explode that air out. Oh, that was excellent. And typically would repeat it several times. So one more time. That was even better than the first time. Then instructs the patient on MDI, first without the spacer. These devices are called MDIs, meter dose inhalers, or puffers. You'll notice that there's a cap that we use to close the opening so that there's no dirt and debris inside of there. This is called the boot, and this is actually the cartridge that has the medication in it. We just check to see that there's no debris. We have you shake the canister, hold it, warm it up, then put it into the boot. If you've not used it in 24 hours, we want you to just push down on it and give it a squirt or actuate it. What I want you to do is hold this about an inch away from your mouth, which is about two finger widths. And what I want you to do is exhale down, blow all your air out. As you're starting to breathe in, I want you to push down on the cartridge <coughs> and continue breathing in slowly and evenly with this about two finger widths away from your mouth. So let's let you just try exhale out normally. As you're starting to breathe in, open your mouth. And keep breathing in and hold two, three, four, and exhale just nice and evenly. That was very good. Doctors ordered two puffs on the inhaler every four hours. So I want you to try that one one more time for me. Inhale. Keep going. Great. And hold, 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 and exhale. This is a demonstration with the MDI and spacer. One of the things that we find is that people have a difficult time trying to squeeze the canister and breathe in at the same time. So we use a device called an arrow chamber or a holding chamber. And what you do is the same thing as you've done before. You put the mouthpiece, you take the cover off, check the mouthpiece for any debris. You want to hold the canister and shake it, mix it up really well. Put it into the open end of this arrow chamber. What you're going to do is hold this in your hand, 
you're going to exhale normally as you start just before you start to inhale push down on this breathe in nice and evenly through here and when you're done with that breath just hold it to the count of five and what this will do is allow you to take a couple more breaths and get all of the medication so let me give you that and have you try exhale normally squeeze the cartridge now put your lips around there and inhale and hold two three four excellent and just take it out of your mouth and exhale okay once the patient is done with the spacer and uh, med treatment then the therapist monitors heart rate respiratory rate and breath sounds at the end of can i count your pulse again please <clears throat> counting respiratory rate Will you take a nice deep breath for me and cough, please? <coughs> Do you need Kleenex? Can I please listen to your lungs one more time? Can I have you sit forward? Thank you. Nice deep breaths. You can sit back now. Thank you. And then repeat peak flow meter measurement afterwards. We need to just see if that made any difference in your lung function. So I want you to take a nice deep breath in again and explode that air into this device. <sighs> wow, that was incredible. Let's give yeah. it one more try. <sighs> Excellent. Once finished, cleans up after procedure. Make sure the patient is in a safe, comfortable position. Are you comfortable? Or would you like me to put your head down? Maybe put it back over. You tell me when. Let's know. Before I leave, I want to tell you a little bit on how to take care of this. We want you to keep these inhalers up out of the way of small children. We want you to take the cartridge out and wash this boot in nice warm soapy water at home and rinse it and then just let it air dry. Whenever this is not in use, if you'll keep the cap on it, it'll keep any debris from inside of there. The same thing should happen with this chamber. You should wash it in soapy water, rinse it out, and let it air dry at the end of every night. Doctors ordered two puffs for you on this medication every four hours. I'm going to leave this medication and the spacer right here at your bedside along with your Kleenex. And then uh, records procedure in the patient's chart. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, thank you.